guys, welcome back to the channel. Today is the official first day of summer, um, which means we have the longest daylight hours today, which is kind of cool. It's uh, very warm out. The bugs are still bad deep in the woods, but out here in the uh, breezy open beaches, there is... The bugs are still bad, but not nearly as bad. And you can kind of escape them if you go out, head out to the breeze. So I figured it was a perfect time. I, uh, I had a chance to kind of get away and sneak out across the water and I'm gonna have a little beach camp. All right, so you guys probably recognize this place. I was here last year. It's a perfect spot to set up my, uh, my tree tent. But I have to be really careful in this area because there is patches of poison ivy galore around here. Look at that big patch. So when I camped out here last year, I actually didn't bother to look because poison ivy doesn't actually affect me. Um, I've never really had, I think I might have had like one little bump at the most, but Brandon is very susceptible to it. What we learned last year is that he doesn't even have to directly touch it to get it. So if the poison ivy touches any of my gear and then Brandon touches my gear, the oils from the poison ivy can stay on your gear and then affect somebody who is affected by poison ivy. So that includes dogs and animals. If they walk through it and then you go and pet them, um, the oils from the poison ivy can be on their skin and actually affect someone who's susceptible to poison ivy. So good thing to keep in mind. I've been going in the bush a long time and I didn't know that till last year. So <laughs> maybe you're the same and I'm sure many of you already know this, but for those who don't, Hope you learned something. Okay, change it into something a little more comfortable. I've got to get some dinner going. So, we are under a fire ban at the moment, uh, which really sucks. So I brought out the jet boil. My Leatherman.
So I just wanted to get those started a bit. I'm going to take them off for now before they get too cooked. And then I have a little steak to cook, which isn't the greatest in a pan. But it's a good cut of steak and it's really, really small. So I think it'll turn out okay. Don't judge. I know this is a horrible way to cook this. I would much rather cook it over a fire, but unfortunately, can't have a fire. So, it's gonna have to do. It's actually close. Oh yeah, wow. Oh! I don't even need seasoning. Alright, let's throw these guys back on. But this needs to warm up a bit. I've always liked having avocado with rice. Not sure why. They just go good together, I guess. Even though they're both kind of bland. I won't need these dishes again for the rest of this trip, so I'm just going to give them a quick rinse and I'll wash them properly at home. Alright, so dinner was pretty good. Got everything all set. The flies and the bugs are driving me crazy, but that's okay. You guys like my new hat? Timbermaid's logo. Half of it. I thought it looked pretty cool on a hat. So I guess I'm just gonna chill out for a few hours. Sun doesn't go down for quite some time, so I don't know. Maybe walk down the beach or something like that. But yeah, I will uh, relax for a bit and I'll probably catch up with you guys later. Oh, it's real calm out here, it's really nice. Super hot too. Maybe I'll go for a swim.
Good morning. It is mosquito apocalypse out here at the moment. All right, filled up my water again for breakfast. I'm gonna use, or have rather. Obviously you guys know I make a lot of my own dehydrated meals and stuff, but every once in a while on a trip, it's nice to just have something that rehydrates like a little bit faster. And these freeze, freeze oh my gosh words are hard. These freeze-dried foods are um, pretty handy to have. Um, so I actually haven't tried a lot of them just because I've dehydrated my own for so long. I wanted uh, to try this one which is Mountain House Granola with Milk and Blueberries. So, sounds pretty good. Picked it up from uh, Cabela's when I was there last. Done. Might put just a touch too much water. beauty about canoe camping that you can just shove everything in and deal with it at home. I'm all set. I'm sorry this was a bit of a quick trip and I didn't do a whole lot of filming. This time around the bugs were horrendous so it's really hard to focus on filming when that's when the bugs are so bad. I feel like I'm itching crazy. Um, yeah it was a good trip. Short one but a good one and uh, 
still nice and calm on the water, so it's a good time to head out. But thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate it. And uh, I'll see you on the next video. Bye.